What is up everybody? It's Coach Andy coming at you with some craziness today. I have no idea what I was thinking. I got a wild idea and I ran with it and it turned out to be entertaining, I guess. But I want you to join my challenge group and I want to help you increase your motivation and discipline. So in order to get you to join, I thought I would demonstrate how motivated I am. So check this Mostly out. Mostly motivation and discipline, it's the ability to do something even though it is hard. And I thought of no better way of explaining how to do that than sitting in a wall sit, giving you a brief overview while I eat a habanero pepper. What could go wrong, right? So let's try it. I got the stopwatch. I am got a habanero. Um, that one, I shouldn't have grabbed a big one, but I did. So I guess we'll go with that one. A little bit nervous, but uh, what could go wrong, right? Okay. Okay. Yup. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, so that was um that was a lot hotter than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, you know how Mike Tyson says, like, everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the mouth? Okay, or that you can just eat a habanero and try to talk about motivation and discipline. Okay, hands are sweaty. All right, number one. Okay, this is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be intense. Okay, so number one, we're gonna set a routine and you're gonna, you're gonna plan ahead. Right? So when you do something, you're new and excited about it, you have this enthusiasm, you have this energy that you're starting something new. You want to use that. Okay, it's like you want to keep breathing, but you don't want to keep breathing. It just keeps building. It's nice. Okay. So enthusiasm, right? Here I go. So I got to go or my legs are going to burn out. All right. So my, you got enthusiasm and you got rising to the occasion, right? So your body takes time to get to that new habit of what you're doing. And so you can need to set a two week plan. I want you to set some non-negotiables, set two weeks. I want you to make a two week goal. So if your goal is to lose 40 pounds, don't even worry about 40 pounds. I want you to lose five pounds in two weeks, set some non-negotiables. I want you to get some success. That's number one. Number two, I want you to invest in success, right? So when you're doing something and you want to make a goal, I don't want you to have to do it. I want you to all the way do it. Oh yeah, wow, it's really hot. Whew, it's like hot and numb at the same time. So I, if you're going to work out, don't just go to the gym. Invest in the nutrition too. You want to work out and you want to have nutrition. So. Maybe you invest in an after workout recovery drink, right? So now you're gonna go work out, you're gonna try to get sore so you can take the stuff and recover. You'll work out harder because of that. So put your money where your goals are. Put some skin in the game, you'll be more motivated to show up, you'll be more motivated to get her done. <laughs> My nose is running, that's really good for video. Okay, number three, legs are burning too. My mouth and my legs. All right, we're gonna raise the stakes, all right? So maybe you got a wedding coming up, okay? You are gonna lose weight, you're gonna get in shape for the wedding. Fine, awesome, right? But what's after the wedding? What's motivating you after that? So there's, there's two things that can raise the stakes. There's social reasons or there's competition reasons. So you just pick one, always have one you're scheduled. So maybe it's another wedding you're going to. Maybe it's a big party you're getting ready for. Maybe it's bathing suit season, right? There's so many social reasons to get ready for. So always have one that you're working towards. And if that doesn't motivate you, uh, competition is another great thing. So uh, if you enter a half marathon, maybe you're not in shape for half marathon, enter one. Now the stakes are raised, you'll be more motivated, more disciplined to stay on your game to get there. Okay, number four out of five. All right, I'm just giving you a brief overview. We're going to go into this way deeper in this Friday challenge, okay? I want you to let people know. I want you to have a support system. I want you to get people that are counting on you to show up 
and that they count on you and you count on them. So you guys are intertwined, you have a team, there's, a, there's more people at stakes. Okay, also, part about letting people know is I want you to get some haters, right? I want you to, I'm sure there's some haters watching me right now. They're like, I've ate habaneros all the time. They're not even that hot. I could do it, it's no big deal. Oh. Yeah, are you wall sitting? No, okay. So haters, you know, I'm putting myself out there. But I get motivated by the haters, right? Because I don't want to fail because I don't want the haters to be right. So get put yourself out there. Get some haters and then hopefully that'll make you smile. I think my nose running, the snot is like attacking my lips because now my lips are numb. Okay, don't rub your eyes. Ooh, that was a close. Okay, get some haters. Get motivated by your haters. All right, number five. Legs are shaking. Whew. Number five. Crave. This is the Mecca, right? This is my goal. I want to get you to number five. Our ultimate goal is I want you to crave the feeling that the journey makes you feel. So I don't want you to just want to get to the end goal, right? That's too easy, right? I want to lose 40 pounds. Blah. Okay, that's fine. I want you to crave the feeling that going there makes you feel, all right? I'm gonna talk about how to do that. I want you to join my five day challenge. When you think about quitting, I want you to think about me right now, how I'm still, my face is on fire, how my legs are on fire, I'm still going, all right? So I'm gonna let you hang out with me until I fail, but I still got some juice. I think I'm gonna eat another pepper. That's number two. This number two. Oh, that was not a good idea. Oh, that was interesting. I'm still in a wall set. <coughs> so, let's see what the timer says. Uh, Six eighteen. That's pretty good been doing some work so as you guys can see I've come a long way I couldn't well sit for six minutes when I started it took some motivation it took some discipline to be able to do that right on day one I can make about two minutes and I was shaking and I was failing but I kept working I kept discipline no matter what your goals are there's a way you can do it okay I hope I motivate you guys. So you guys better join my challenge. If this doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. I am not gonna make you eat a habanero pepper in my challenge. You will not have to do that. I do not encourage anybody to do that, okay? But I'm gonna tap out here. I'm like failing, but I wanna see you in my challenge. I wanna help increase your motivation and your discipline. Uh, uh, and uh, I will talk to you. I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Whew.